You can use a Monte Carlo simulation anytime you want to run multiple scenarios and analyze the possible outcomes. Here I'm trying to measure what is the likelihood the S&P will be up more than 5% at the end of the week. In order to do this, I looked at the average daily return of the S&P and the daily standard deviation over the past 50 years. So to simulate five days of S&P performance, I'm going to use the norm inverse function and I'm going to use RAND, open parentheses, close parentheses. The RAND function generates a random number between zero and one every time you make an adjustment to your spreadsheet or you hit F9. So here I'm doing norm inverse. I'm using RAND as my probability. For my mean, I'm gonna put in the average that I calculated. And for my standard deviation, that's my standard deviation, F4. Okay, I'm going to copy this down for all five days. And every time I hit F9, five new returns are selected for the S&P out of this normal distribution. So to answer my question, I need to see what the return is at the end of the week. So here I'm gonna put the cumulative return for the week. And I'm gonna calculate that really quickly. This is the number I'm really interested in. Every time I hit F9, this will recalculate these five numbers and my cumulative will tell me what the value is at the end of the week. And I wanna run this simulation 10,000 times and count the number of times the S&P was up more than 5%. So here I have the numbers one through 10,000 in a column. And at the top of that column, as almost a column header, I'm going to select the value I want to copy for the simulation. Now, this is kind of a workaround. You're going to select the data that you're looking at and then all the numbers in your column. And you're going to go to data, what if analysis, data table. Just ignore row input cell and in column input cell, click any empty cell outside of your data table. Excel will use this cell while it's running the simulation to store data. So don't worry about that. Hit OK. There you have the results for 10,000 simulated weeks of the S&P. So now I want to collect some data on my trials. So first let's look at the average for the 10,000 times. The average of my trials, end of the week, was about 15 basis points. My standard deviation of returns is 2.17%. But now I want to answer my big question. What's the probability that the S&P was up more than 5% at the end of the week. So here I'm going to count if, count the number of trials, comma, in which my criteria is gonna be greater than 0 0.05, and divide that by the number of trials to see the percentage of times it was greater than 5%. So in one and a half percent of my trials, the S&P was up more than 5% at the end of the week. And this workaround works great for a lot of very simple Monte Carlo simulations. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.